so this is a pine wood base and today i'm going to transform this plain pine wood base base into a very vintage look base for that i have a three uh, like you know three shades of wood tint wood tint really gives you a very nice vintage look so let's start with the video firstly i'm taking my 4 by 8 stencil this is my 4 by 8 stencil which has a wood grain effect i'm going to use that stencil with my modeling paste here so to use modeling paste uh, i will need a palette knife and i'll place my stencil on my base wherever i want and then i'll place my modeling paste with my palette knife i'm just going to spread it And I'm not doing all over, I'm just giving a very random effect of the paste. So this is a very beautiful wood graining effect we have got. Similarly, I'll be doing it, repeating the same techniques on my base. And once I do this, I will need a very good drying time for this one, say about 30 to 50 minutes. So now this my base is completely dry here. I'm going to take my kitchen roll. This is a kind of a cloth tissue paper which I'm taking to apply this one. Even you can do it with a brush. So firstly I'm starting with the wood tin that is a dark walnut stain. I'll just directly spread this one. It's quite thick in a creamy form. So directly taking it on my base. And I will spread it with my kitchen roll. Or you can take any cotton cloth. On a pine this dries very faster and gives you a very natural wood look. So once I'm done with the brown, I will start shading with little of grey colour. Grey is comparatively lighter tone and this will also give you a very natural look of a wood. And then I'll continue grey for some more. You have to spread it little quickly on a pine wood base as this dries faster on a pine. Same as on the wood, it will take some time to dry on a normal wood. Here in this, I'm using all three shades to show you the look and effect of it. Now I'll add a green color to the last. Green I'll take very little. So you can transform any of your old furniture into this new look. And again, I'll allow it to dry for some time. This my base is completely dry up after applying a wood tin. Now I'm going to give a little look of a stenciling on top of it. So this is my 12 by 18 stencil. I'll just show you which stencil I'm using. This is my 12 by 18 stencil. It is a perfect for any home decor. So I'm going to use my just this oval frame from this above stencil. So I'll place my oval here and now again I'll use my chalk paint and my wood wax brush. Taking a chalk paint little in your brush, I'm just going to apply here. This brush is known for stenciling, perfect stenciling.
once i'm done here is a beautiful article for your home decor 